What is up, guys? We're back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon move set and strategy guide. This one's actually for Topapex. Uh, now, a lot of people actually been asking me to do a uh, guide on Topapex just because it's been highly requested. I'm gonna give it to you guys. Um, this is possibly one of the most OP mods that came out of Gen 7. I'm gonna tell you, the, you guys that right now. Um, looking at these stats, this thing's probably even better than a Feral, to be honest. Uh, Ferrothorn, which is really, really high grade for Gen came out of, and it's still top tier OU. Um, being a water and po or poison water type, you're only weak to ground and electric. So, and I think psychic, which psychic isn't really that common anymore. So, um, you're neutral to grass. Um, there really isn't too much to worry about here. Um, with these stats, you do have base 50 HP, but HP really doesn't matter. When you look at the defensive, base 152 defense, 142 special defense, and they gave this thing Regenerator as a hidden ability. If this thing isn't speaking of broken right now, I don't know what is. Um, again, probably one of the, the most OP and broken mod. Well, I wouldn't say necessarily that's broken, probably just OP mods that came out of Gen 7. This thing's far from being broken, uh, but I just say it's kind of overpowered. Uh, as of right now. Um, just gonna hop into it right here, guys. Uh, with the abilities, it does get Merciless. There's actually a new ability for Gen 7. This Pokemon's attacks are critical hits if the target is poisoned. Which, again, this is an absolutely awesome ability for this thing. It gets Toxic Spikes. It gets a move called Baneful Bunker, which I actually go through in a bit here. Um, which helps this ability a lot. Limber, probably not gonna be using this ability. If you cannot be paralyzed, which really doesn't matter. Uh, to be honest, it really doesn't matter if you're paralyzed. You're so slow the way it is. Um, it, it really, in the long run, doesn't matter. And Regenerator, which is going to be giving this thing its longevity. Um, as for Move Pool, this thing gets an insane Move Pool, guys. It gets all the right moves it needs. It gets access to Recover, so it has self sustain. Um, it gets Toxic Spikes. It gets Hazards, guys. Um, the only thing I think would make this thing a little even like more broken would be if it got like Rapid Spin. I can see the thing being move to Ubers if this thing got rapid spin, but does not. Um, Baneful Bunker, which I'll go over right now. Uh, basically, it's like a spiky shield, but instead if you make contact, you don't take damage. You get automatically poisoned. So if your opponent touches you when you go into a Baneful Bunker, um, your opponent gets poisoned, and then you can actually take advantage with the Merciless ability to have that as well, and pretty much just stall them out, which I think it's going to be doing. Um, also, another thing, you're never going to see this thing, I absolutely never see this thing in an offensive form, guys. Um, this thing is meant to be a wall. It's meant to either be special defensive, defensive, or possibly both. If you want to run max, max, and both. Um, you're never going to see this thing as like an all-out special attacker or all-out physical attacker. Just because it's not not really meant to be like that. It's going to be one of those hard um, counters to a lot of mons. It's going to be sit there and toxic stall you out. Set up toxic spikes and just be one of those overall insane walls. That's what this thing's going to be. Um... I'm going to go over to Moose a little bit more, just because Moose is absolutely insane. Uh, he gets so much coverage, guys. He gets rest. He gets access to Scald. Um, toxic. 100% accurate Toxic. And with its typing, it cannot be Toxic itself. So, um, you cannot Toxic this thing. You can burn it, but burn's been nerfed in this gen. So, burn, not going to be doing too much. You can paralyze it, but with the speed, it's not really going to matter. Unless he gets quite paralyzed. But at that point, it's really not going to matter either. Um, so you cannot really windle this thing out down with too much. I guess burn is probably the best thing, but burn's nerfed, so it's really going to be doing too much when you have recover and blast sludge. Um, this first set is actually a physical defensive set. Pretty much standard. Uh, you have toxic spikes. I guess you can swap a few things out here. You can run toxic spikes or bane from bunker. It's pretty much whatever you want to run on this set, but toxic spikes, recover, for sustain, uh, toxic. If your opponent is steel type, hey, throw a scald out. Has a high chance to burn, you might as well get your opponent burned while you're at it. And just wind them down from there. Um, toxic stall them out, or recover stall. And you can always switch out as well because you have the regenerator. So you can always get your health back. So Max HP, max defense, run the uh, full nature. Kind of self-explanatory with this per set. Uh, this next set's more of a, uh, kind of a gimmicky set, more of a stall set. Um, I can see this being used on stall teams a lot. Uh, again, Black Sludge or Leftovers, both are pretty much the same. This time you're going to want to run the Merciless ability. Uh, that's going to make, make you able to actually use Baneful Bunker. Um, or you could probably run Toxic if you wanted it, just for the 100% accurate Toxic, but 
Baneful Bunker would probably be better. Um, either one of those two moves. Um, your opponent's going to be getting poisoned either way. You run the recover for disdain. Infestation, so your opponent cannot switch out, and you pretty much just recover stall them and stall them down to the point where they're not going to be doing anything to you. And you can sit there and stockpile up. So that's really what this set is. You set up one, two, three stockpiles while your opponent's being slowly whittled down by the toxic and then the infestation. You slowly just take them out. That's really what this set is just about. Uh, max HP, 88 defense. Uh, just threw enough in defense to where, um, with the beneficial nature, you could run probably max a beneficial defense or special defense of nature it really depends what you want but with a beneficial nature it just puts it slightly above its special defense which um, is kind of good and since the special defense is lower I evened it out so where it would be pretty much the same as both so you'd have equal here and uh, yeah it will take its both sides very well um, right here we got a next set I'm not quite sure what you really want to run for EVs and this set pretty much going to be up to you um, leftovers or black sludge, I just put leftovers just because you can use that as well. Want to run the do regenerator, uh, recover, baneful bunker, scald, um, with this set. Pretty much a standard set. As for the last move, it really depends what you want to run. Uh, you're going to be getting a toxic with the bane, or a, uh, poison off with the baneful bunker if it is successful. So scald is there for some things that cannot get poisoned. Um, just throw out damage and hopefully go for the burn. That's really what it's called there for. As for the last move, you can run a lot of different things. It gets access to haze, so your opponent's going to be setting up on you, which a lot of things will try to set up on this thing. This is very setup baby. So if you want to run the haze, you can eliminate status changes, so your opponent won't be setting up against you anymore. Uh, you can run light screen as well. Uh, there's a lot of different options. Light screen, uh, you can run rest. Well, you wouldn't really want to run rest because you have not recover, but maybe T spikes if you want to. T spikes, you can also run surf instead of scald. Uh, sludge bomb if you wanted. Maybe you can use a sub. I see sub being super effective, very effective on this thing just because not many things are really going to break the sub. Um, not really too many other options here. I guess maybe infestation if you wanted. So you'd also get the access to spike cannon, I guess. Not really going to be doing too much, but a wall. Uh, maybe stockpile would be another one. Maybe panel shock if you want to run that double uh, power panel shock. Plus stab, that wouldn't be too bad if you hit decent damage. Uh, all depends on what you want to run here. As for the EVs, you can run max defense, max HP, whatever you really want. Um, you're probably just going to be using defensive form, so maybe special defense to it for um, max HP or something like that. Really, whatever you want with this set. Um, as for the last set, it's going to be an overall uh, like super bulky set, more of a support set. Um, Max defense, uh, max special defense. Uh, with the T spikes, the light screen, you set up the T spikes and all that stuff. You get the light screen up, which isn't going to be 8 turns, but 4 turns is still a lot, especially when you have um, mods in the back, which can take advantage of it. Uh, recover for disdain and the skull, just throw burns and whatever, whatnot. Uh, hit super effective on some mods. Uh, this there for uh, coverage, to be honest, and uh, an offensive move, just so you don't get taunt bait. Or get taunted out. So, uh, max defense, max special defense. Uh, really doesn't matter what nature you want to run. As long as it's really a minus speed nature, it, it'll be good for you. Uh, have no speed anyways, so it really doesn't matter at that point. Uh, 35 speed, you're going to be outspeeding like nothing anyways. I think you base speed. I think your speed type was actually Mudsdale. Mudsdale cannot even 2 KO you if you're defensive, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I think the only way they get close to a KO you, to hit KOing you is actually if they're banded like adamant so uh, really not too many things that really hit the thing for a, like a lot of damage I guess you could also run like maybe like Rocky Helmet on one of these sets, sets as well would be pretty effective Rocky Helmet or something like that uh, just so you're, if your opponent hits you they'll be taking damage again as well you can stall them out but other than that not really too much else to go over this thing is an insane wall guys uh, I do expect this thing to be like top tier OU along with Ferrothorn imagine Ferrothorn uh, Topopex core guys that's a rage quit right there. Um, but other than that, if you guys enjoy, feel free to subscribe and uh, leave a like. It'd be awesome. I'll get that out of here. See you guys in the next video. Peace.